Hey guys, uh, just uh, leaving my fishing trip here in Selkirk, Manor, just outside the uh, uh, Chuck the Channel Cat here. He's one of the, uh, this is kind of a monument to the town. He's a um, monument to the uh, Channel Catfish capital of the world, Manitoba, the Red River. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I, uh, just grabbing a bite to eat here before I head back to Alberta, but yeah, it was nice. The hotel I stayed at, they gave me a complimentary breakfast at the, uh, at the Smitty's here. So, so that's pretty sweet. Um, so on the first day, I actually, uh, limited out, um, got six nice walleye. Um, one that was close to a master the second day, um, missed a lot of fish. There was a, um... A lot of them that came up, uh, the, the guide that I fished with with Cat Eye Outfitter, he had uh, um, the panoptic sonar there, The I think it was the Garmin, and it was amazing. You could see the fish come up, but it was like it's not like just anybody could hook it. We, we did see some big fish. There were some masters that came through there on the screen, and like I'm by nowhere, any, I'm not a skilled walleye angler. Um, I know just about as much as the next guy, but I did miss a couple of really big fish that day there were some ones that i could have hooked into that would have been like the fish of a lifetime but i love this province because you can you can catch fish you can keep them here and they're just a beautiful looking fish i mean the um when i get back to town i'll actually show you guys um cooler i have with the fish that, that i was allowed to take home and they are just like massive good eating fish so but yeah it uh it was a great trip um people are super friendly here in selkirk uh, great stay i stayed at the uh selkirk uh, what do you call it inn and conference center it's just kind of off the main strip here um there is another one that a lot of other fishermen stay at here it's called the the can alta so um, if you guys uh, ever come through here, this place is a little bit cheaper. The Can Alta is pretty good too. Um, it's just what they were they were kind of charging double because this is a lot of guys that come through here for the Greenback Run tend to stay at that hotel, so they kind of double their rates. So, um, but if you do actually end up going with, I think it's Cat Eye, you get you get a discount on the hotel. So check that out. I think there's couple more weeks left in the season so if any of you guys are hardcore walleye anglers you're looking for a huge walleye to catch i'm going to add some pictures of the fish i caught with um, dan that day um we didn't run and gun as much um we kind of uh, sat he, he figured the method of actually staying in one spot um kind of developing a pattern was better for the walleye to come through and um, we came across some good pods some some big fish on the screens there but i think we probably could have caught a lot more fish if we'd run ran around started punching more holes but with the uh with the arctic uh wind out here like the we we go about 10 15 kilometers out on lake winnipeg so when you're that far out um with the cold air and everything it just kind of takes all the gas out of your tank so i uh but yeah it was a great trip i'm still feeling i'm super tired <laughs> I, uh, my legs, my back, my neck, just everything is like really sore and, uh, but yeah, it was cool. I uh, got to drive a snowmobile and, um, got to learn a lot about different jigging techniques and rattle baits and all kinds of things. And Dan's a super smart guy. So I learned a lot about the area and the region and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it, if you guys are looking for a walleye destination capital, this is a place, um, I did come here in the summertime for cats. And if you guys are looking for a really good angling experience for actually catching huge catfish, this is another definite bucket list you have to come to. It's a little bit of a drive, but um, for what he charges, it's really good. There's a couple other competitors around here. They, they mo uh, 90% of their um, customer base out here is mostly Americans, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, a lot of them come up here for the walleye and the catfish, so. But if you're a Canadian, I mean, hey, it's 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 a once in a lifetime trip. I'm glad I did it. I almost didn't because of the cost of gas and everything. But once I got out here, um, um, I'll I'll post some of the pictures of some of the fish I caught and um, the GoPro. It was really hard to film um, with him working out there because you had to be very 
into what was going on and catching fish and stuff like that. So just uh, keep that in mind that uh, if you're coming out here and if you're trying to film with a GoPro or something like that, like uh, might want to come out with just you and a friend. You work with a guide, it's like there's a lot of action, so it was hard for me to kind of... I was trying to film the uh, the catching of the fish and stuff. There's one video where I got that, that while I was... I think it was 26... 25 maybe it was close to a master and um i tried getting in there to have a look at it and everything and he was big on getting the fish back in the water it's a very fast paced kind of you know the first time experience but i will be back because i do want to get my first master out here um, but yeah it's a great trip gonna be on the highway here pretty soon uh, i'm thinking i'm probably gonna film a couple more episodes before the season's over there's a few more reservoirs and lakes that are open so um, just keep that in mind. Um, that there are still places to fish till the end of March, but we had big uh, ice uh, freezing there. So, so there's a few reservoirs I can still fish, so keep eye for that. Other than that, uh, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.